Rosario. Hello everybody, it's your boy Wellmas Justin here, and I'm going to show you how to fix Halo 2 startup crashing on machines running Windows 10, 8, and 7. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the problem by starting up my Halo 2 Vista. You see it tries to load, it's going to change my screen resolution, but then bam, you get the Halo 2 for Windows Vista has stopped working. Now if you're having the same issue I'm having, which I assume you are, you're going to get this every single time you try to load up Halo 2 Vista. So I'm going to go ahead and before I show you guys how to fix it, I'm going to change my resolution back so that way you know I can see the screen and you can see the screen. So change the resolution back. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your control panel down here. Just type in control panel and boom. And then you're going to want to go to network and internet up here. Go ahead and click that guy. Then you're going to want to go to view network status and tasks under network and sharing center. This is going to be all your network information. It could be wireless, it could be hardwired, it doesn't matter. You're going to want to go to change adapter settings on the left. You're going to see all these enabled but unplugged Win32 adapters. You're going to want to go ahead and disable all the ones you're not using, which will be every single one with a red X next to it. So, you know, I, there's a few of them, quite a few, so just go ahead and disable all of them. Like so. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it takes a, about a minute or so to disable all these guys. And then this is how it should look afterwards. They should all be grayed out except for the one on the top left, which whether it be your Wi-Fi network or your hardware network, that's the one you want to keep going. So now I'm going to go ahead and launch Halo 2 Vista again, and you're going to see that, you know, somehow it's going to work. I don't understand why that, how that correlates, how those... Um, Win32 adapters correlate to properly running a game, but oddly enough, the same solution to fix this was also what I used to fix Sony Vegas 13, because I had the same issue. Every time I tried to launch it, it would instantly crash. It would say, Sony Vegas Pro has stopped working, and whenever I did this, it fixed both Halo 2 and Sony Vegas. So I don't know what the correlation is, and honestly, since the problem's fixed, I honestly don't care to learn what the correlation is, but you can give it a Google if you really care. Anyways, uh, I'm glad I could help you guys out. My name's Wild Much Justin, I'll see you in the next video. Later.